Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to be helping the Minutemen retake the castle. So without further ado, let's get started. We're going to walk up this embankment. Creepy dead dolphin. Nice touch. Here it is. I see it. You saw something Whoa, out there? Whoa, that was awesome. Did you see it? The big guy in the water? Where did you see it? Over there, behind all those shipwrecks. He keeps peeking up over out of the water. Hey, do you think it's dangerous? It hasn't attacked anyone yet, but maybe it's just waiting. Have you seen more than just its eye? Nah, just the eye stalk. You know, like some bugs have. Every once in a while, it comes out of the water and looks around. Like it's hunting for something. I bet it wants fresh meat, like us. Only then you'd have to kill it and leave its dead body here all bloody and stuff. That would be so awesome. You want it to attack us? <laughs> That's nuts, kid. Yeah, because then I get to see a cool fight. <laughs> that kid is a trip. Got to still be there. Let's take some Radex and then we're going to jump in the water. By the way, when we do get to the castle, we're going to dismiss Deacon for a little bit. And I think in the next video, we're going to go back to McGreedy. I like to call him McGreedy because he likes his caps. Let's go inside the Young's. Uh... I can't believe it's still working. I watched you talk to a boy on the dock. Swim out here. You appear able, but not a threat. No. Come in, Hopian. Um, a uh, peace? Who are you? Zhao, captain of the Chinese Navy. I sail the Yangtze 31. This champion. Ah, uh, this submarine. My beautiful boat, speak harsh words of me if you must. But my Yangtze, speak of her with respect. Why are you here? War is over. Long over. And my Yangtze holds no bow, no treasure. Nothing for you to plunder. Have you been here for 200 years? Ah. It has been that long. Should, uh, yes. I suppose it has. Long ago. Just after the fire. Yangtze struck a mine. My Chen Ting barely made it here into harbor. City already in ruins by then. Few noticed us. Fewer cared. Too much Tongku. Your arrival is good Xingyun for me. I need help, you see. Yangtze is not uh, seaworthy. You will help me fix her? Why would you trust me? A, a stranger? Trust is risk. But a man must plow with oxen he has. You are not like raiders that board my Chen Ting, my Yangtze. You show peace. Xie xie. What will you do with the submarine once it's fixed? Ah, I sail for Zhongguo. Return to China, where I belong. My jia. My home. What will you do there? Anything Zhao can do. If China is gone, I will build. 
house by house, and if no houses can be built, I will die. My jaw at peace. I'm at your disposal. Ha! <laughs> yes! Thank you! Yes, yes, my friend. But first problem. Yangzi has no power. If we get reactor working, probably enough. There is damage to a... Uh, a dampening coil. Bad damage. Need a new coil. I have information. Intelligence uh, from wartime. Dampening coils are at a facility called uh, Saugus Iron Works. What about the nuclear fuel? I have idea for that. But first, dampening coil. Why haven't you repaired the Yangtze yourself? For long, I was happy to stay here. Of late, though, I've been thinking of my Zhu Guo. Of China, also. My Yangtze is not safe. Raiders come. I have fought them. But I fear leaving her alone to get what I need for repair. What's in it for me? Money. Shen Jin. American money. From before. Still worth something, no? Worthless to me on Yangtze. That's all you've got? Wealth is like dung. Useful only when spread. I have some bottle caps, too. New money for your new burned America. They are yours as well. I'm going to need more than that. You force me to make ultimate decision. Sad decision. Maybe Yi Han, my sword. Sharp, wondrous gen. Sword of Chinese officer. It is yours. If you help me. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll get them for you. I am not your captain. Zhao will do. You go. Get the dampening coil. I will work on repairing the bridge control systems. Much gongzuo. Deacon's fat head was in the way. Let's put a level in real quick. We'll uh, max out. Well, no, not max out riflemen because we need one more point into it. But pretty damn close. Let's go back to the Commonwealth. Great. I didn't need to have more children. <laughs> you have children, Deacon? I tried to swim backwards. It did not work. I just went underneath the water. Let's go talk to that little boy again. Did you fight it? I didn't hear anything. Where do you live? Right here in the dock, in that room. My dad died a while back. Now I just fish for food and try to stay away from the mire larks. It swallowed me. I used a knife to cut its heart out. Whoa, that's so cool. I wish I could have watched. You can't see it very well from here. Well, thanks for killing it, I guess. Let's, oh, by the way, this is that kid's room. There's not much in it. It's kind of sad that kid's living by himself in such a dangerous place, too. Gonna come up over here. We'll be grabbing a few magazines as well today. No, oh, I was I thought it was a mire lurk for a second, but then the scuttling little legs or whatever. Scurrying of legs, scuttling? I don't know. Whatever that sound it made <laughs> sounded more like a bug. You can go inside here. I believe you can send 
a robot from Sunshine Tidings here. And I'm not sure if you can get him to go back to Sunshine Tidings or not. Gonna make a left. Who's there? Nobody. Relax. I'm not here for you. You may live to raid another day. And I have a problem with calling the raiders bandits. I have no clue why. <laughs> I just struggle with it. I mean, it's kind of the same thing, but. But, you know. Here's another wicked shipping trailer. Some stealth boys. Treasure chest. Or steamer trunk. Still a treasure chest. Still a treasure chest. Ooh. Oh. No ammo. Chief. Just pay you to play dead. <laughs> Ow. Okay, this was th this turned out bad. Dude, if you throw another fucking Molotov at me, you motherfuckers. Bastard. Keep moving over here. Baseball cap. Oh man, come back. Poor guy. I was having fun. I want to take that Coast Guard hat. And then we're gonna pick up another Grognak um comic book. Again, for those of you that are playing a melee build or doing some insane critical hits when you get them. Just checking if there's any more raiders. We're going to make a right here. We're going to crouch here in just a second. Just because there's some spotlights. I don't want enemies to see me. I like to try to be a sneaky, sneaky boy. We're going to grab another Eddie Winters holo tape. I'll see everybody inside. I have no clue where Deacon went earlier. There he is. I knew there was another mongrel in here. I think there's always um, mongrels in here. Oh, I went the wrong way. Duh, Mr. Wayne. Let's listen to this hollow tape. Message to Buster Conley. Nice piece you did on the monorail construction project. Heaven's Highway, Anything Devil's Doing. Huh, cute. But I think you give organized crime too much credit. Various Boston families coming together to fund a public works project? Huh, please. Clearly you never sat down at dinner with these guys. They can barely agree on an appetizer. And ain't nobody jumping to pick up the check. The bosses had their hands in the honeypot, sure. But nowhere near the level you were suggesting. You did get one thing right, though. Safety Inspector Alice Lansky was killed. They'll never find her. Because there's nothing left. After he bashed her brains in with one of those giant wrenches, Vinny the Crackers Venucci dissolved her body in a barrel of hydrochloric acid. So write your follow-up. Then feel free to tell the cops the murder weapon is hanging on the wall in Venucci's garage. On 4 Charter Street. Eddie Winter, signing off.
Let's go inside this terminal. We want to uh, go to the winter hollow tapes logs. It's going to update our map. We can get out of here and continue on our merry way. Let's do a little bit of backtracking here. Come out to this street. This should send us over by the brewery. We're going to end up finishing a quest, by the way. Diamond City Blues. I'm not close enough. Go figure. You know, I do. <laughs> days, right? Take care of this blood bug. Or not take care of it. Uh, <laughs> loot this blood bug. We already took care of it. You can go inside that building if you want. Loot it. I'm not going to bother. As usual. Be careful. It seems like every time I go by here, there is a suicider super mutant. Are you? What? Oh, Deacon, don't even. All right. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Nope. Oh, come on. Wouldn't lock onto this one. Sometimes vats can be a little janky. Well, mainly I guess on console. <clears throat> I'm not sure how it plays now on this, PC. This is a workout. But I'm assuming it would be a little easier. <laughs> Let's get the mini nuke off of this guy. If anything, they're worth quite a few caps. And especially with us uh, finding a bunch of Tales from a Junk Town Jerky Vendor, which I believe we're going to find two magazines uh, from Tales of a Junk Town Jerky Vendor in this episode. Pretty sure there's going to be two. We've been collecting quite a few magazines, which is a very, very good thing. Some holy water. All right. Deacon's got some pretty silly dialogue. Fighting. Great. Always got to reload. I don't know. Force a habit. You're going down. Nice. Lucky harpoon gun. It's pretty cool. Sure, Deacon. Whatever you say, bud. Behind me. Why ain't you watching my back, Deacon? Oh, over here, there is a fusion core. For those of you that may want it. It's up to you. Let's go inside this terminal. By the way, if you did not get the password from the Diamond City Blues earlier into the walkthrough, you're going to have to use the map to hit the laser trip wires in the right order. So be sure to look at that map. Let's go inside the Kim Lab. There we go. Finished up Diamond Whoa! City 
What just happened? Blues. No, we win. I didn't see that guy right there, obviously. Insert something Shakespeare. I'm ready for him. What? No, your business model. We team up with a mortuary. You see where I'm going with this, right? By the way, for those of you that go to a you chemistry a bench and want to craft the hallucinogen grenade, you don't need any explosive perk. Um, you just have to have the hallucinogen gas canisters, aluminum, adhesive, and springs. And you can make, um, I think we picked up nine. Yeah, nine um, hallucinogen uh, gas grenades. You want to you want to keep one so I would make like 8 depending on how many you have save one because you want to turn that into I think his name is Fred Oh my god I was just trying to grab the Kims The guy in Good Neighbor that wants you to find the hallucinogen stuff for him Let's go out this. Oh, no, we can't go out this door. Let's go in the terminal and then we'll go out the door. Be prepared. There's going to be quite a few ghouls in here. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> ghouls can be a little tricky just because they, they got uh, dodge for days. They learned the four rules of dodgeball. Dip, duck, dive, and dodge. <laughs> Should have another one coming our way soon. I like that we're a lot sneakier now, though. Seems we have a tail. Here's another fusion core for everybody. Really? So close. Back before I met you, I'd go whole days without massacring a bunch of things. Honestly. I'm sure, bud. I hear him, but I don't see him. You want to be careful. You don't want to get every ghoul's attention. All right, let's finish clearing this place out and then we'll come back up here, hack that terminal. Here's where the majority of the ghouls are. What? So hit that leg. I like to throw grenades in these situations. It slows them down. Time to earn our paychecks. I'm getting paid, right? Sure, Deacon. I'll pay you. I'll pay you in some pre-war money. We sure do a lot of that. Winning, that is. <laughs> what are you, Charlie Sheen? The party machine? Let's uh, pick up the tales of a junk town jerky vendor. Nice. I don't think there's really anything else of note in here. I thought there was a ghoul that I killed that was a legendary, but I guess not. Trippin', Mr. Wayne. You trippin'. Um, let's pick the lock on this door. Got it. We'll go upstairs and we shall 
hack the terminal. And, I mean, it's not necessary. I just like to unlock the uh, door and turn on the Protectron. Makes me feel like he's watching over the place while we're gone. Making sure no more ghouls move in. <laughs> I'm a weirdo. Let's hack the terminal now. Powering up. Protectron on duty. We might as well loot a little bit in here. Fusion core. Since we have it open, why not, right? And... Eh. All right. Hey, bud. You want to move out of the way? Thanks. I didn't want to have to shoot and kill you. That would have defeated the purpose of why I turned you on. Let's go outside. We've been traveling for a spell. I was hoping to have some words with you. Oh, now's a good time. I'm used to flying solo, but I got to admit, it makes me think I've been missing out. Having someone watching your back is refreshing. Especially since you never know when the Institute is watching. The feeling's mutual. I gotta say, you make it look easy, but you have some built-in advantages. Some people at HQ are jealous. You took the big nap and everyone you knew is long gone. Now, hear me out on the silver lining. If a human in the railroad slips up and they expose friends and loved ones to danger, you're safe from that. Well, I guess I'm a little lucky then. What's done is done, and the upshot is you're in a position where you can act openly. If you go to ground, there's little the coursers can do about it. It doesn't matter much to me. I'm a synth. At least that's what they tell me. So I really don't have anything to lose. For Glory and me and the others, it's easier to dedicate ourselves to the cause. You expect me to believe that? Why not? I, mean, I was one of the first to get the good old Cranium reboot, and it was a learning experience for everyone. Makes me quirky and fun that way. Since we're traveling together, I want you to take this. It's my recall code. If you ever need to know something about the Institute, read it to me. If you expect me to believe you, I want proof. All right, you got me. No fooling you, huh? Don't take it personally. I lie to everyone. Maybe I'm just another human that has people back home he wants to protect. Then again, maybe not. <laughs> is that really why you lied to me? I'm supposed to be showing you the ropes in the railroad. So let's just say this is lesson, well, whatever number we're at. That code I gave you is a hard truth. You can't trust everyone. Even if someone sounds sincere, they could be a synth replacement working for the Institute. The bitch of the problem is recognizing the 90% of the time someone's on the up and up and the 10% of the time you're being played. Let's continue on. You're really thorough. You know that? Sure am, bud. Oh, I went the wrong way. Oops. Don't go that way. Go this way. This is the way out. We're going to go into the General Atomics. We're just going upstairs to grab a magazine real quick. And then we're going to get right out. We'll be coming back to this um, facility when we do the Automatron DLC. There's going to be a few, or actually I think just a couple of robots we got to kill. Shot above his head. Pick up Bingo. the Tesla Science. It's a pretty cool comic book cover or magazine cover. Keep calling them comic books, but they're magazines. Yeah, we'll be back to this place. I want to say a few more episodes and then we'll start the Automatron DLC. We can probably stand up, walk normally. 
there's not really much else to uh, kill over here. We killed the super mutants that were over here. Don't go that way. Go this way. Gonna have a mire, uh, mire lurk somewhere over here. Pretty sure, right? Did he get killed? Hmm. I heard something. Company income. Uh, Indeed, Deacon. Easy. Let's go inside. We're gonna pick this lock. We're not gonna bother with the terminal. Nice. My advice to everybody, don't bother with the Myrler catchlings. Um, just kill the regular Myrlers. Yeah. Uh. The hatchlings are just obnoxious. They're not going to get uh, do too much damage, give too much damage. Words. Who needs a vocabulary when you can just make up words? We're going to come over here, hop down, do a little bit of Bethesda platforming. This is only going to end one way. Turn off this radio and pick up another Tales of a Junk Town jerky vendor. We got two in this episode. Son of a <laughs> you know, Deacon, you can always just run. This is the part where you're supposed We're going to go outside and go to the roof here. We're just about to the castle. We can see it right over there. Who the... No, oh, fucking super mutant, isn't it? Yep. Pop your little green head out. Aw, oh, bastard. Got him. Another one? Let's let's take care of this first, and then we'll kill those super mutants. We're going to go down there anyways. Shoot this bar. And we want to come into the terminal. There is another um, Gwinnett beer recipe. We'll press square to eject the hollow tape. We'll end up giving all those to drinking buddy a little later. Not just yet. No, oh, that's a dead Meyer lurk. Hop off the roof right here. Where did that super mutant go? There's a mine right there for those of you that may not have the ability to What's not that? set off frag mines. That super mutant hound was trying to do a handstand. Let's go outside these, this gate. We're not even going to bother going in there. There's nothing of note besides some loot to get in there, or to get in there, to go in there. Oh my god, I don't know what I'm saying. Don't worry about it. There's some loot in there. If you like to loot it, be my guest. Tell me, Mr. Wade, when are you going to be able to form actual sentences? Never. Voice in my head, never. Good God, I'm such a weirdo. I don't know what happened to Deacon. He's probably still fighting the Myrlurk hatchlings or something. Who knows? <laughs> Let's talk to Preston. I was going to get rid of Deacon, but I guess he was like, no, I'll stay in this here brewery and fight Myrlurks. All right, here we go. What? Where'd you come from? <clears throat> Everyone's here, General. There it is. Pretty impressive, huh? Its real name is Fort Independence, 
but the Minutemen always just called it the castle. Now you can see why I wanted to take it back. Definitely. For 600 years old, it's in pretty good shape. That's right. They don't make them like they used to. We take this place back, people will know we mean business. Our primary objective is to clear the courtyard. That's where we should see the most opposition. The wall on this side is the most exposed. But if we circle around south, we could also reach the main gate. What are we waiting for? Let's just get in there and shoot those lobsters. No. If we split up, we can flank them from both sides. It'll be like shooting fish in a barrel. Why not let them come to us? We set up a firing line on this side, and you can draw them out. Well, General, what do you think? Set up a firing line, and I'll draw them out. Sounds good. We'll hold back and wait for them to come to us. Just don't get yourself trapped in there. All right, people. You heard the general. Let's move out. Try not to draw their attention until we're in position. Let's put a level in real fast. Um, let's do perception. Let's try to max out perception and then we'll uh, work on something else. Probably max out uh, the pistol um, proficiency next. Gunslinger, I think the perk is called. Man, that lady is slow. When I was here last, oh, 60 years or so ago, this whole place was just crawling with men and men. You could smell the smugness a mile away. Oh, there's Deacon. Hey, Deacon. Hey. What you need? <clears throat> What's on your mind? I think it's about time we called it quits. It's been nice traveling with you. I'm sure I'll see you again. I'm like a bad penny. I'll keep turning up. Deacon doesn't really get along with the Minutemen. Um, at least from what I've seen. So, I, which I don't understand why. I'm the leader of the Minutemen. He wants my help, but he doesn't want the Minutemen's help. I, I don't know. His character is fundamentally flawed. Damn, looks like they've been nesting. Hold up. I knew it! <laughs> looks like to hold up inside old buildings. The walls are probably full of them. Sure looks that way. Here's how we're gonna... Gold days, right? You know, you're really good at this. You hold here in the courtyard and take care of any eggs you find. The general and I will clear the walls. Yes, sir. Let's do this, general. Essentially, you don't have to go on top of the walls to destroy eggs. Um, we will, just because. But just destroy the eggs, and then when you destroy a certain amount of them, uh, a Meyer Lurk Queen's going to come out of the sea. Can we hit that one? We can. Should have toggled the quest on, but I didn't. Cause I'm lame. I think the ones that are, uh, shake. Here they come. Um, are the ones that have hatchlings in them. So many eggs, so time consuming. Um, 
That is all of them. Yep. Start from the back here and work our way to the front. What the hell was that? Yeah, we got a Meyer Lurk Queen now. Okay, here we go. She's not too hard. Or not. What? Okay, there she is. <coughs> Thank you. Be careful for the poison, acid, whatever the hell it is she spews out at you. It hurts. It hurts bad. There we go. All done. No, you're, you're not running away, sir. Or madam. Whatever. Meyer Lurk. My god. There's just so many. I hate, I hate the hatchlings. They're obnoxious. Another one for the Minutemen. Yeah! We get it. Wait till they hear about this. <laughs> She's on the roof. All right. Good work, people. But we aren't done yet. The general and I are going to have a look at the radio to see what shape it's in. The rest of you, clear out any remaining Myrlurks or eggs you find. Where are you going, Preston? Let's go see if there's anything left of the old transmitter. Let's take them out. Oh my god. Can we just get on with the mission here? <laughs> That's Commonwealth Justice it. for you. I'm going to go see what else is left around this old place. So, we won't have enough components to build the generators that we need. In that case, all we need to do is come up here. So for uh, some more, for some more, for some broken down artillery. I don't think there's going to be a day that I'm not going to fumble over words. And I'm not making this all fancy and stuff. I'm just putting the generators down for now. Maybe later um, off screen, I'll go and build up uh, the castle, but... Not right now. Let's talk to Preston. Hey there. Wow, we really did it. I've been watching the men and men fall to pieces for so long, I just- It's getting dark out there, people. This is really Stay something. Safe. Now we've got to pay off on what we've started. Bring the whole Commonwealth together and make it last this time. So, you know, back to business. But with Radio Freedom up and running, we can broadcast alerts to you anywhere, anytime. All right, Preston. Which reminds me, I've got another trouble spot for you to check out. I've got our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time. Whatever you say, bud. Let's close these doors. And then we'll end the video here. I want to tell everybody thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. And with that being said, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe. And until next time, everybody have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.